Welcome to Craze. I'm Dinell, and on today's topic, we're talking about violence on TV and in video games. We have our wonderful guest, Pastor Brian Rivera of Revolution Youth Ministries, here with us to really discuss how this is impacting our young people. But before we get to that, we have our music artist guest coming to the stage, AOK, -okay, Ambassadors of the King, performing their first song, Chosen, featuring James Abram. <laughs> Yeah, we coming to you live. Hey, okay, production. Hey, okay, production. Yeah, we got a question for you. Got a question for you. How do you get chosen? How do? Just answer the call. Let's go. I'll be chosen, sanctified and made holy on the wall worthy of my God. Cause I'll be chosen, washed by the blood of the Lamb, compelled by the love of Christ. I'll be chosen. I'm the wrong. Now everything's working for my good Cause I done been chosen His spirit dwells in me Now I have a purpose and a destiny Ambassador, king of shake a raw priesthood Chosen by the spirit to shake up all nations Following Jesus Christ to the only destination Well 
Internet television, the wave of the future, has begun. It's here. It's free. It's awesome. It's ministry. It's DoersTV.com. Doing TV God's way. Visit today at DoersTV.com. A one-of-a-kind internet TV network with 21 channels of unique Christian programming at the click of a mouse. Go to DoersTV.com and be blessed with Christian reality TV 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Visit DoersTV.com today. Welcome back. We're sitting down with our wonderful guest, Pastor Brian Rivera of Revolution Youth Ministries to talk about violence in TV and video games and how is it affecting our young people. Pastor Brian, thank you so much for being here today. For Welcome me. back. We love having you on the show. And this topic is um, really relevant to nowadays and even the things that we're seeing in the news, I think it, it, it kind of really starts here. Um, and, and it's violence on TV and in video games. It's something that everyone is exposed to from very little all the way up. Um, I want to cover just a couple statistics really quick because um, these ones were rather interesting. Um, while not all researchers agree, uh, the Surgeons General reports that TV violence is linked to aggressive behavior in children who view violent shows. And similarly, um, these are like, this pretty much sums up everybody. American Medical Association, American Psychological Association, uh, UNESCO, and the U.S. Attorney General. I don't know if we've left anyone out. Um, they've all reached the conclusion that TV violence is linked to the proliferation of violence in our culture. Um, I don't think any of us are immune to realizing that because mm -hmm. we see violence every day. Yes. And um, an interesting fact was by the age of 12, the average child has witnessed tens of thousands of acts of violence on TV and in games. By the age of 12, tens of thousands. What kind of impact are we really looking at in the sense of yes. this? What, what, what is really going on here? Well, what I've noticed throughout youth ministry and talking to different youth is really that there is a need and there is a search out there for kids, especially between the ages of 12 to their, you know, young teenagers, you know, maybe up to even 20 mm -hmm. people and teens that are looking for their identity. Mm. We're in a nation right now. We're in a society in which really there are youth out there that they don't know who they are. Either they don't have a parents as a role model. They don't have a church to look to. Even in school, they might be rejected and pushed away. And they're looking for ID. They're trying to find out who they are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and even what you were reading with, I made, uh, I saw online that around 12 year olds, they're spending over 32 hours a week watching TV. 32 hours a week. That's like a, almost a full-time job. That's, yeah, that's almost a full-time job. And that's a whole day. I mean, from morning, from as soon as you wake up to the same exact time the next day, over a day just in front of the TV and receiving what's going on. And, and this, is, this is the big problem. Because they're looking for an ID, because they're looking for their identity, they're going to be picking up what they see. In other words, you know, they're, if they're seeing violence, that's what's going to be implanted in their lives. Mm -hmm. You know, you take um, a young person who really doesn't know what they are. Let's take even a 12-year-old mm -hmm. that they can't, their minds aren't even at a point in which they could comprehend what's real and not real. Their wow. mind is developing at this point in which they're seeing something on TV and they can't even understand what's going on. Right. To them, that could be real. Right. You know, and I could, uh, I'll share a little bit of an embarrassing story, you know, okay. that stays between you and me and the millions yeah, that are watching around. <laughs> just, just a few people. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> but I remember myself in my life when I was like around 12, you know, up to 15, I would watch certain movies like, let's say, Rocky, uh -huh. you know, that, that was really big back then. Yeah. I'd watch, you know, movies like Karate Kid, you know, just just stuff even, you know, later on, just movies that were really violent, at least in that time. Mm -hmm. And I remember, and this is the embarrassing part, I remember right afterwards, after I would watch it, 
as soon as the movie was over, I'd stand up, you know, and if it was Rocky, I'd be like swinging around. I'd be all excited if I right. saw like a police officer movie. Right afterwards, I wanted to be a police officer. You know, I was going around the house, you know, being could believe I had a gun and shooting stuff. I'd find my brother and just start beating him up. Nice. Because there was just some, yeah, exactly. Right. There was just some excitement, something that was implemented, you know, it, you know, in my life that was uh, that was placed there that gave me that identity. Mm. Pretty much an excitement, as in this is how life is. Right. You know, there's uh, this reminds me of a story, really, about this uh, young man. He was part of my youth ministry, and uh, this kid, he was raised in, you know, a really bad area, mm. a bad neighborhood. And uh, for him to come to our services, I offered to pick him up and bring him home at night. And I remember one day, I was driving him home after a service, you know, and I asked him, you know, what did you receive tonight? You know, what did you feel? And from there, we led on to a conversation about respect. Wow. And he began to tell me about how he was going to do this in school, how he was going to beat up this person, how he needed to show that he was so tough because he needed to gain respect. respect. He wanted respect. And I looked at him. And I really thought about it as he just kept going on and going on about respect, about how that, that was the person and who he was. Mm -hmm. And there I stood and I was like, you know, let me ask you a question. You know, do you respect me? Mm. And he's like, yeah, I respect you. Well, have I ever threatened to beat you up? Have I ever threatened to, you know, come after you right. and shown you by force and violence that you need to show me respect? Yeah. And he just stood there in silence. And as he stood there in silence, I really came to realize that it was just something that was alive inside of him. Mm -hmm. Something that he didn't even understand why right. it was that he needed to live this way. Right. And that's what we see in society right now. And that's what we see with our kids. All they see on TV is violence on yeah. video games. Oh, my God. Now the most popular things are like games such as Halo or just other games out there that it is everything. Everything has to do with violence. Lots, and this and is, lots of it. And lots of it. Like non And not even rational violence, no. may I add. No. Stuff that doesn't really even no. actually happen. The, the bloodier, the more popular it, it is. The more someone explodes by, it, it's like really? It's, it, it's baffling. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really incredible. Right. I mean, and, and this is, this is the interesting part. And I was thinking about this and the Lord really began to talk to me because if you see in video games that are violent mm -hmm. to get to the next level or to win points, what do you have to do? Kill some, kill more people. Kill more people. Yeah. If you're going to succeed to the next level, then you got to go to a level that's more violent right. in which you kill more people. Right. And now this is what's implemented in their minds. This is what's sown there. And this is how they think they do. that if I'm going to succeed in life, if I'm going to go to the next level, then there has to be violence. Right. Then there has to be respect and there has to be something that is violent. That's going to bring me up to become a greater person. And that's the ID. That's the identity in which they build themselves upon. Wow. And it is so much of a false illusion, mm -hmm. completely false. There is no truth in it whatsoever. And they just fall prey to it. And now we're seeing it. News. They get mm -hmm. younger and younger and younger and younger. Yes. Young, there was a, 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 a what, an eight-year-old, seven-year-old kid that robbed a car and was driving, you know, like fast and the furious. You yeah. know, I, I'm like, yeah. oh my goodness, are you kidding me? And not even running from cops, the whole thing. But you want to guarantee that kid probably played that video game. Yeah. And he's like, let's do it in real life. And because we gotta, we gotta ask ourselves, really, at that age, are they seeing their parents do that? Right. I'm pretty positive they ain't seeing their parents mm -hmm. going around, jumping in a car, hijacking it, and just right. driving like right. a mad person. Absolutely. Not. They're seeing it somewhere, and they're learning it in a specific place. And that's where media steps in. Yeah. That's where the television, that's where video games, that's where everything, everything is taking place. And, you know, and, uh, you just reminded me about, I read this story, actually, I saw this story about a young boy, and they found out that he began to rape, and this is in middle school, he raped some young girls. Wow. He raped some young girls, and when they did the research, they asked them, they're like, you know, what, what, what provoked you? Somebody so young mm. in early middle school, yeah. what, what, what taught you? How'd you learn about all this? 
And he was honest. He was like, you know, he's like, I, I don't, you know, I saw a video. I saw a movie and that's what they did. And they girls seemed fine about it. This is violence. This is sexual immorality. Yeah, it's all over. This is, this is what's taken over. And again, because there is such a need for an identity, mm -hmm. such a need for a, a person to know who they are, that's where they find themselves. When our identity is in one person. Yeah. And that well, is that, Jesus Christ. It is. And that brings me to um, a couple of verses I just want to share real quick is Romans 12, 2. It says, do not be conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And in Proverbs 8, 13, the fear of the Lord is hatred of evil. Yes. Pride and arrogance and the way of evil and perverted speech. I hate the Lord says. Mm -hmm. He hates these things. And this is what's in these videos. And, and I just want to, um, I want to say real quick, because of course time goes so quickly. I wish we could talk about this for an hour because it's such a big yes. subject. Yes. Um, is the fact that parents need to think yes. about what they're giving their children and, and, um, it, gifts, presents, whatever times of the year when you start giving presents. Oh yeah, we got them an Xbox. We got them a this. Oh, give them whatever game they want. No, really think about what games you're giving your kids. Really yes. look at what are you giving them and what are you promoting? What is that message that you're promoting to them? And if you have these games, what are you allowing into your spirit? What are you allowing to be sowed into you? And it's not just a game and it's not just something you can brush off and act like it's not affecting you because it is. And it's leaving impressionable, impressionable things on your spirit and in your heart and in your mind. So yes. you need to be very careful. Um, yes. We didn't even have time to go through all of the do's and don'ts, but that, that pretty much sums it up. Just watch what you're giving your children and watch what you're participating in, even if it's at a friend's house, and wa watch what you're watching on TV. Oh my goodness, time wraps so quickly. I wish that we could continue to talk about this. Mm -hmm. But you are a wealth of knowledge and such a blessing to have on our show, well, Pastor thank Brian. Thank you very much. And you have a ministry, a youth ministry. Yes. Um, and, and you guys talk about many subjects and topics and you have a website and what is that website it's www.rymyouth.com rymyouth.com it's at the bottom of your screen so make sure that you go there if there's any subject that you're that you're looking for some advice and some tips and some go go onto their website and yes. they've got that available to you thank you again so much well, for thank being you so here much for such a blessing me. to have you and coming yeah. up we still have another another performance by AOK -OK and uh, music and entertainment by Vinny and Stacy God has given us a specific set of rules for us to follow. And some of them, even the most basics, at times, can seem nearly impossible to follow. Even ones like honoring our own parents. When it gets hard for us, we can say things like, oh, well, they don't deserve it, or they don't know what I'm going through. And God has already responded to any of our excuses. Deuteronomy 30.11 says, The commands I give you today are not too hard for you. It is not beyond what you can do. And God, just like parents, set rules for our own good. And the more we follow them, the better we'll be. So remember, even it may p seem impossible to love that little sibling of yours, it's not. <sighs> Stacy, it feels so good to be back right here on Craves this week. <laughs> we have a lot going on. I don't even need to say who we are. Let's just get this thing rolling. You got it, Vinny. I, don't, I told you not to say who we are. Okay. We're like spies this week. Yes, spies. Anyways, <laughs> we're here spying on entertainment, movies, music, Ooh. interesting headlines that we just want to come and show you guys. Speaking of interesting, check this out, fellas. All my boys out there in TV land, Rock and Redeemer, the diamond with the crown. It's a Christian apparel company. I met them at Flavor Fest 2011. And um, they're rocking it. Oh, it's good. Hey, Stacy, you know what I'm saying? Forget about it over <laughs> here. You know, hey, huh? Boop, 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 bada bing, huh? Uh, seriously, all kidding aside, though, the spy thing went out the window. We already know who we are, so let's let's hit the movie, Stacy. Yes, Natalie Grant makes her film debut. Debut, excuse me. It's okay, Stacy. It happens. You get nervous. Yeah, it's called Decision, and she plays a single mom to a teenage boy who keeps getting himself into trouble after his father passes away. Well, that's a tough decision right there. My gosh, you guys need to make a decision and watch that movie. That's all I got to say about that, you know? Uh, what else we got going on, Stace? 
Oh, I mean, there's lots of music going on. We have music? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's right, we do have music. Yeah, who's music? <laughs> Jackie Velasquez. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because I, I know, I know. I, I was gonna say, you know, I, I, we're hitting the Latin here, and we're not talking about Pitbull or um, what, who's some of the Daddy Yankee or Donald Mark. We're hitting Jackie Velasquez here, <laughs> and her new album called Diamond. You guys need to check that out. She actually just came out because she just got married and uh, had kids, mm -hmm. so she actually just came out with this album, and it's to die for. You know, and I'm, I'm learning my Spanish a little bit, you know, Ovida low and um, que pasa calabaza and, you know, stuff like that. I'm so impressed right now, Hey, que hora es? Lo siento, así es la vida. You just asked me what time it is. I did ask you what time it is. It's time for, what else? Are we done? It's time for you guys to go to our Facebook page at Crave yes. TV. Click the like button and we want you guys to share with us anything that you want us to give out to the whole audience, you know, interesting news. Maybe there's a the new up and coming artist that you think we need to check out. So yeah. you can give them a platform to stand on. Yeah, pictures too. They can post pictures on the wall, maybe yeah. pictures of a Parmesan or some, um, you know, chicken mar Marcella or something. You know, what is that? But that's it, guys. We're out of here. We'll see you next week. Thank you. And you got anything else, Stacey? Cut, we're out. Thank you, Vinny and Stacy. And we're here with our performing artist, AOK, -okay, Ambassadors of the King. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. And I absolutely love the first song you performed, Chosen. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what we all are, right? We're all chosen, and you've been chosen yes, to write amazing lyrics and put together this amazing album. So we want to first make sure that our viewing audience knows where can they get that. So where can they follow you? What are the websites and everything? The audience can follow us on Facebook um, slash AOKTV. You can also hit us up on Twitter, AOK Ministry, and you can also get our album on tapepublishing.com. So Tape Publishing is who's picked you up. They're going to be promoting you and getting your album out there. Yes, and on Facebook, you're going to be posting where you're going to be, when you're going to be there. So those of you in the viewing audience, if you're in the area, make sure you follow them on Facebook and go support these guys. I want to just talk really quickly about AOK, -okay, Ambassadors of the King. That is powerful all in itself. So where did you come up with Ambassadors of the King? Um, we was all um, at church and after church service we just uh, thought that we could, you know, make songs for the Lord. So we came up and came up with AOK. -okay. He came up with King and he came up with Ambassador. So I was like, um, oh man, I got it. Ambassadors of the King, better known as AOK. -okay. And what a great way. Power in that. You are an ambassador for the King. We all are for that matter. Yes, and AOK, -okay, an acronym where everybody can remember, mm -hmm. and you are AOK, -okay, may I just say. <laughs> so <laughs> this is, it's, it's awesome. And those of you in the video audience, you need to have AOK -okay in your album, in your iTunes, in your in your car, everywhere, you need to get on there, follow them, get their album. This is their album that they have out right now, and that's the one that you can expect to be finding. Make sure you get a hold of this and support these wonderful gentlemen. What a great representation you are of men of God. Thank you so much for being obedient, and I pray that God continues to open doors for you. You're going to perform again, so yes, folks, stay tuned for that. And just uh, want to thank you so much for tuning in to Craze. We want to make sure we're covering and tackling those situations and issues that you're facing. So write in to craze at mychristianfilms.org. Please know that good or bad, you have a voice and it should be heard. Closing us out is AOK, -okay, Ambassadors of the King, singing In Spite of Me featuring Courtney Clark. Father, you love me. Oh. Shine your light into darkness, now I've been set free from poverty. You're just in all your ways, forget getting paid. Keep giving me 
your knowledge so I can live from day to day in everlasting love. I can't understand it, directing my work to truth, and I didn't plan it. If you love God, you will keep his commandments. His love cover all sins, the enemy can't stand it. Who God love, he correct. Got a lot of work, don't need no rest. Love your enemies, that's less stress. The fight not between blood and flesh. I love you with my mind, heart, soul, and my strength. Your greatest gift is love. You can call us heaven sin. You love me in spite of me. You love us in spite of me. Even though, even though I did you wrong. I did you wrong. I'm far from home. I'm far from home. Let's go. You love me in spite of me. Turn your back, no. you never gave up on me yeah. Promoted by your word, I find out that you love me Try you open up my eyes, now I realize that, that you were there with me Convicted by your spirit, now there's a greater in it It's all about you, it's all about me So I gotta move myself, give a glory to the king Cause there's nobody else, you the alpha, the maker So I gotta keep on stepping, I'm a son of the king For real, so I gotta Your glory, but you show me mercy. So many sins I committed. Your crown doesn't fit me. My soul stricken with pain because my heart's convicted. A lost city, blinded by wrong thinking. Farther and farther, I slipped away from you. The image of you on that bloody cross that I nailed you to.